no further intro let us start first thing to do guys is to type here or search your mysql workbench that uh, you have downloaded so in my case i will type mysql okay so this is the version that i have downloaded my sql workbench 8.0 version i think this is the latest one so i have to select this guys double click to open and let us wait for a while and here we go guys so as you can see welcome to my sql workbench and then next let's go to my sql connection and let us select this local instance my sql 8.0 version so let us click this to open and again let us wait for a while sometimes it takes minutes guys to open the welcome page and here we go this is it so now this is the format of my sql workbench as you can see at the top file edit view query database but what we need guys here is the this one so this is the icon of uh, database if we create a database so we have to select this or else the second option we have to put our cursor here and then right click and then select this create schema schema means this is the other name of database so meaning to say create schema or create database so let us try this one guys create database so new schema or new database let's type like for example employee employee okay that's it and then uh, i'm okay with this and then i will click this apply so the script is being created create schema employee this is the name of the database and then click this apply so let us wait okay sql script was successfully applied so finish so now we can close this so we have to refresh guys okay so this one this is the database that we have created employee so if we click this and in the table so there's no table because uh, this is the new database that we have created and we have to create a table now so to create a table guys you can uh, right click and then create table and here we go so the name of the table so let's type employee underscore list Okay, employee list and then i'm okay with this at the top and then to add field so i have to select this guys this um icon and here we go so employee list and then for the column name or the field name so let's put employee id or amp id this is integer so it's okay and then primary key and not null i'm okay with this next is double click change this to employee name or amp name okay that one and then bar characters or this is the number of characters guys 45 for me i, I have to change this to 35 then not null so it should be required and then let's put um each so the age would be integer okay it is not null also about birth date okay so we will select the date double click and then this arrow down so we can uh, select this one date not null also we need this one and last is uh, like position so i'm okay with this 45 not null and then last uh, to finalize this we have to click this apply so this is the script being created and then 
click this apply guys so now let us wait to finish this SQ, uh, executing SQL statement na 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 Na, 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 na. Okay guys, so SQL script was successfully applied. So, click finish. And we can close this. And we can refresh. This one guys, refresh. So now our table for employee, we have already the employee list. This is the table that we have created. So to view the table, we can select this guys. Click this, this one, the datasheet icon. Okay, so this is it. So the small one, and then we have to, okay, bring it up. So to have a uh, space. Now we can also drag. Okay. And then next, employee the employee ID. Let's put one. And then the name of the employee. Like for example, Ed. And then, 21. Birth date. Like for example, guys, so in SQL, it should be the date followed by month and then the day. So we can put um, 2000 is 1. 1 dash uh, 1. Okay. Position. Okay, that one. Next, to name of employee. Okay. The uh, birth date is that one. Okay. So, this is just a sample, guys. So, additional employee. Okay, three. Okay, that's my name. Or we can complete this. Okay, 25. Okay, 191 dash 12 dash 11. Okay, that's it. And then... Let us try, guys. So we have to save this. Uh, click apply. So this is the script being created. And then apply again. Here we go, guys. The script uh, was successfully applied to the database. Click finish. Here we go. If we close this. And then open again. They press first. Click this icon. And here we go. So this is it guys. So I hope uh, you learned from this video. And if you have some questions, you know what to do. Just comment it down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. That's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.